Good afternoon friends. Whenever I give a talk at uh, uh, so many colleges across in India and Mumbai and abroad, there are so many questions which come abroad. And many times if the specific question which comes when I'm outside India is that why is the media in India so derogatory? Why is it so leftist? Why is it so liberalist? Why ultimately it actually uh, removes that very tradition of the Vedic culture from the roots of India? Why is media so negative? So I just thought of sharing something with you. Abdul Kalam, the ex-president of India, passed away, and he was in Israel, and he wrote a very beautiful article that in that day where he was there, the Hamas bombed Israel. But still, on the newspaper, the first heading which was there was of a beautiful new invention that the Israeli people had done. It was not about the number of people who were killed or the bombing of Hamas or any wrong thing or negative thing for the people. So today, unfortunately, the media is so wrong. which just depicts the negative the negative and the negative all the time to create a mindset in the mind of indian to be thinking about his own nation in a very derogatory way so let's think why is it happening and i've got some answers for you the answers are here let us see the ownership of different media agencies in india number 1 ndtv a very popular tv news media it is funded by gospels of charity in spain supports communism Recently it has developed a soft corner for Pakistan because Pakistan president has allowed only this channel to be aired in Pakistan. Indian CEO Prana Roy is a co-brother of Prakash Karat, general secretary of the Communist Party of India. His wife and Brinda Karat are sisters. India Today, which used to be the only national weekly which supported BJP, is now bought by NDTV. Since then the tone has changed drastically and turned into Hindu bashing. CNN IBN what is it this is 100 percent funded by Southern Baptist Church with its branches in all over the world with headquarters in the US the church annually allocates dollar 800 million for promotion of its channel its indian head is rajdeep sardesai and his wife is work uh, and his wife sagarika ghosh times group list times of india midday now bharat times stardust femina vijay times vijaya karnataka times now and many more this is the times group list this times group is owned by bennett and coleman world christian council does 80% of the funding and an englishman and italian equally share balance of 20% in it the idate italian roberto mindo is a close relative of sonia gandhi star tv it is run by an australian who is supported by st peter's pontifical church melbourne hindustan times owned by birla group but hands have changed since Shobhana Bharatiya has to cover. Presently it is working in collaboration with Times Group. The Hindu English Daily started over 125 years back has been recently taken over by Joshua Society, Bern, Switzerland. N Ram's wife is a Swiss national. Indian Express divided into two groups, the Indian Express and New Indian Express, Southern Edition. ACTS Christian Ministries have major stake in the Indian Express and latter is still with the Indian counterpart. Inadu still to date controlled by an Indian named Ramoji Rao. Ramoji Rao is connected with film industry and owns a youth studio in Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Jyoti, the Muslim party of Hyderabad known as MIM along with a Congress minister has purchased this Telugu daily very recently. The Statesman, it is controlled by Communist Party of India. Kairali TV, it is controlled by Communist Party of Ma- India Marxist. Matrubhumi, leaders of Muslim League and communist leaders have major investment. Asian Age and Deccan Chronicle, it's a Saudi Arabian company which holds stakes and the chief editor is MJ Akbar. Gujarat riots which took place in 2002 where Hindus were burnt alive Rajdeep Sardesai and Barkha Dutt working for NDTV at that time got around 5 million dollars from Saudi Arabia to cover only Muslim victims which they did very faithfully not a single Hindu family was interviewed or shown on TV whose near and dear ones had been burnt alive in Gujarat so the ownership explains the control of media in India by foreigners the result is obvious ponder over this now you know why everyone is against the truth how very sad don't forget to share let the truth be known thank you very much